In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full review and setup guide for Starlink. I'm going to tell you what I think about it, the pros and cons, and just a general overview of Starlink itself. Now, I've been using Starlink for over just over a week now. This is the box. This is the box it came in. And so far, I have to say I am very impressed with it. Now, for those of you wondering what Starlink actually is, it's basically a way of setting up internet in your house or another area. But the basic benefit of this compared to normal internet is that it connects via satellites rather than cables, which means that it's a lot faster in certain situations. Now, for me, on my home Wi-Fi that I had before this, we were with, I think, BT or Sky, one of the sort of normal providers. We were getting about five to seven megabytes download on a good day. It'd probably be down to three on a bad day. And upload, we were getting, you know, 0.5 uh, upload. So very, very slow speeds overall. And we really tried everything. Um, we tried switching providers multiple times, having multiple phone lines for different routers, that kind of thing. But nothing seemed to really help. And the reason is because we just didn't have fiber cables on our street and we weren't getting, it, getting them anytime soon. So we had the old copper cables. And now I just wanna quickly show you the speed test that we're actually getting or the speeds we're getting now. You can see that it's easily pushing, you know, 85, 90 on the download side. Over 100 here, you know, 110. So, you know, pretty fast, very usable. On the upload side, it's about four right now, which is pretty low. But I am currently um, uploading some videos to YouTube, so that makes sense why it's low. But for me, this is definitely workable and it's a huge improvement on what we usually get. I think the upload speed I'm generally getting with Starlink is around 30. So it's very good compared to what it was and you know more than enough for the needs I have for it. Now in terms of cost, the uh, unit itself, like the dish and all that kind of stuff, cost me around 270 or maybe 230 pounds. I bought it from Curry's. I got it from Curry's because they offered um, next day delivery and also if I had any problems I knew that with Curry's I'd be able to easily return it back to them. So I paid about 230 for the dish itself, the setup kit, and then each month I'm paying around 75 pounds for the internet. So it's quite a bit more expensive than normal Wi-Fi, probably around three times more expensive. But for me, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I was looking at options such as getting an office just to use the Wi-Fi. Um, a few other options there. Getting an office is looking at around you know 500 pound a month minimum, really. Uh, whereas this 75 pound a month is pretty good. They do also have some other plans, like some business plans, um, which are more expensive. I think that's 150 pound a month. But overall, this plan here is pretty good for what I need to use it for. So now let's talk about the process of actually setting up and how that was. So one of the reasons that I didn't get this sooner was because I and my dad was skeptical that it would be quite hard to set up and that if it didn't work once we set it up then it would take ages to take down, we would have put in all that effort and also we wouldn't be able to return it, there'd be no customer support. We were kind of worried about all these different issues but decided to get it anyway and it was so simple to set up. Inside of the box you get these instruction manuals here. This is literally all you get as instructions. But essentially it just says um, put the satellite somewhere, connect it to the cable, connect it to the router and then install the app here. So I did all that and once I was on the app, the app basically tells you um, to find your serial number. That took me a while to find it. I believe I found it on the box so if you're struggling with that it's going to be on the side of your box somewhere and it will say SN colon and it will have your number. You put that in and it will just say to you, okay, cool, we've activated your dish. And then the app does this really cool thing where it basically gets you to scan the sky and you have to scan, you have to like um, scan all these little points. And by doing that, it kind of tells you how good the area of sky is to put your dish. So I tested it in one area first. There was a few trees in the way. So then I moved somewhere that was a bit different, slightly higher up. I scanned there and um, the connection was way better. So then all I had to do from there, once I found the spot to put it, is I just literally connected up the cables, put the um, mount in the dish itself. I put it on the roof. Um, and this is quite a low roof. I'm in like a little uh, outbuilding here. It's quite a low roof. I put it on the top and then it just starts kind of swiveling around looking for north. And once it does that, it tries to connect to a satellite, I believe. And from there, it takes around 
five minutes at most for it to uh, connect to the internet. And from there you can just come inside and set up the router. I just brought the cable from the roof I brought inside um, into the, the room and it's very simple to set up, just plug it in. Then on your app it's very simple to use. You essentially just connect to the Wi-Fi. It will get you to change the name and the password on the Wi-Fi. But then from there you're ready to go and it's all set up. There's also an app here for Starlink where you can kind of look at all your data on here. So you've got your statistics here. So this is stuff like your uh, latency, the uptime, uh, your upload and download speeds. Uh, you've got all that kind of data in here that you might want to look at. You've also got the networks, so how many devices are connected onto the network. Quite useful if you need to kick some off or something. You've got your obstructions, so this is the bit I was telling you about earlier where you can basically um, scan the sky, check for obstructions in case you want to try out a new location for it. Then we've got a speed test, the speed test inside of the app. Um, you can just speed test inside the app if you want to. I think it's better just to speed test on my computer so I can get a bit more of an accurate um, reading of it. And then also within the app you've got stuff like settings so you can change your network name, you can put content filtering if you'd like to, you can reboot it, you can do custom DNS, uh, bypass mode, factory reset. And then on the dish itself you've got some cool stuff so you can um, melt snow on it if you have snow on the front because obviously if it's frozen over it's going to not really work. You've got sleep schedule so you can turn it off at night which is quite useful if you don't need to use it. And you can reboot it and you can also stow it. So stowing it will um, tilt it into a safe uh, position so that you can uh, uh, store it or transport it for example. So overall as a product I'm very happy with it. It's been great for just downloading files, um, it's been great for uploading files before it was taking me like a hundred hours to upload a few files, now it's taking me like a couple hours and these are quite big files as well. Um, things like uh, video calls they're pretty good. Video calls is where it might drop a little bit, but still it's been perfectly fine for me. Same with gaming, um, it's fine for gaming. It's not going to be as good as, you know, wired in um, fiber, but compared to like other things you might have, like BT and stuff like that, it's way better. So if you're someone who lives in an area where there isn't fiber or you're in the middle of nowhere, something like that, then this is just going to be such a great option for you. The one thing I'd say is make sure that you don't have too many obstructions in the sky. Luckily for me, I have quite an open um, garden, so I can put it on the roof and it's going to be able to directly get to the sat satellites, whereas if it had trees in the way, it probably wouldn't work as well. But for now, it seems very good, and my opinion might change in a few months, but at this point, it's kind of been a life sa saver, um, and it's kind of given us internet that we've never had before, so it's pretty good value in my opinion. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment down below that it did help you out and gave you a good opinion. Thank you for watching.